got Woody the Woodpecker out here. Yep, the compressor's on already. Okay. It's 49 degrees in here. Whoa. Glare, it's called. 12, 11, 23. Whoa, the battery just died. Okay. Anyway, so we'll move on to something else. Um, I understand what guys are saying about this. About that pucker. Um, this stuff doesn't stretch. It has a felt backing on it. It doesn't stretch at all. I tried to wet it down and stretch it. It just wouldn't work. Um, there's just no material when you get into the corners. There's, it don't, if it don't stretch, it, it, it gets icky. You know, it don't stretch. Um, like I said, if he doesn't like it, then, you know, so be it. Like it when the sun's out. Oh, look, Matt. Let me go ahead and turn some light on for you so you can get a full effect, the bird's eye view. Look, it's magic. It stands up. Well, you know, with a, with a coat hanger and a drywall screw and hot glue and a piece of wood. Oh, I lost it. Where are we at? Whoa. I was wondering, what does a 10 to 4 mean? Maybe it means nothing. Welcome to Hell Week. Yeah. Anyway, don't, don't tell my wife. I don't think she uses it. I think we all have wives. If you're in your 50-ish, like I am, they buy these all kinds of exercise, special wheel of a deal things. Well, this has been, been behind the bedroom door for a long time. It's like a yoga mat. I don't think she uses it. <laughs> I don't think so. So I just took it. So I'm going to see how long they take before. I like pink, really. Fuchsia, I guess it's called. Because I want to see. See, once I walk on this, this is too late. I can't give it back because it's going to get dirty. But I think it'll help my feet. So my feet are screaming all the time. That's really all I got to say today. Oh, Lord, I don't like sanding. Lord, I don't like... Did I mention I don't like sanding? Lord have mercy. <sighs> One more time. I don't like hand sanding. But once you get started, it's not good. It's just you get into a groove and, you know, you do what you do and... This is how I make my money, and I could be in a factory right here, right now, humping windows like I used to do. It wasn't bad when I was driving high-low. I like driving high-low, but then, you know, they downsize, and you should go back on the line and do production, and yeah, well, you guys know that story. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's not, I'm not cut out for it. I'm too old. I put my years in. Put my years in, paid my house off. Paid my toys off. Here, here's my brother Scooby. He looking. He look like me. <laughs> anyway, you know, you pay everything off and then you realize what's most important. Life. Doing your own gig. You still gotta work, but at your own pace. Here's that material. It's pleather. It's got a felt backing on it. So if you stretch it, even if you get it wet, you I know leather you could stretch it and you can get it to conform so it goes right back to shape. Don't matter <clears throat> what you do, it just it don't stretch. It don't stretch. That stops it. That's why there's a pucker. No excuses, it's just it is what it is. You can only do best you can with what you got. My mom is 75 years old, 96 pounds. She thinks she's overweight. I swear that woman's gonna live to 100 and I hope she does because God forbid when she passes away, that's gonna break my heart. Why do I say working on this car is gonna be hell week? I explain it to you. When you're standing along and things are going fine, and you get a low spot or a little 
something you missed, you'd be like, hell, I didn't see that. Hell, I missed that. Damn, I don't want to prime again. Come on, man. Come on, man. Go on, set the clock. I got 62 hours in this. Let the games begin. Turn the radio off and get your groove on and sand, 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 and sand some more. Most people know this. People don't understand it. This is just how I do it. You're going to use the air tool they tell you to oil daily. Some people don't like to put oil in it because they're scared they're going to contaminate the airline. Think about this concept. You put oil in there. As soon as you put the airline in, it's under pressure and it pushes the air this way. Oil's not going to backfeed into the airline. But anyway, and here's another thing I used to have a problem with. When I'd sand the door, I used to put a block of wood here. You know, so you, you couldn't push it in. Most people know this. Just do the latch. That way you don't hit the edge. It's common sense, but I used to used to jam a piece of wood in the door and all kinds of crazy stuff. But anyway, maybe I'm just prolonged because I don't want to sand. The time is now. Fuck!
So let's look at the good shit first. The hood is good to go to me. It's set in 180. I can send that down to 320. The driver's side hasn't even been touched. The roof is sanded down. It's got a bad spot, really. Um, the trunk is good to go. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Front fender is good to go. Fucking door. Got a little shh. And this fucking quarter panel right here. It's got a little shh. You know, when I took this car in, I thought I had to finesse a little bit. I've already primed this motherfucker twice. Man, I'm going to end up priming this fucking car again. Top's body shop sucks. Because I was thinking when I looked at originally looked at the car, I'm thinking, well, it came from a body shop, so majority of it's got to be good to go. Fuck no. Fuck no. I got a dent on a fucking roof still. This has got a little piece of something going on here. That's got a little piece of something going on there. I kept sanding and kept sanding until I could sand it out. And, but before you know it, you're going to hit metal here pretty soon. You can tell with this black primer right there. It's like I should just pig prime slits in this whole fucking thing. <sighs> yeah, whatever. It's fucking whatever. I'm not going to do cars for nobody no more. This is fucking just bullshit. It's always just some more shit. Some more fucking shit. Just some more fucking shit. One more time. More fucking shit. 